Hey, Freedom Junkies. This week's interview with Ariel Rose of the New Earth Rising Telegram channel cannot be shown on YouTube. Alas, we talk about things that go against what people are supposed to be able to talk about. Even though our God-given natural right to speak our mind is protected by the United States Constitution, they still are censoring us. And my first video with Michael Moit, where we talked about the unconstitutional mandates where you have to wear those things on your face. And we talked about the, the pressuring people into taking uh, an experimental thing. Can't talk about those things on YouTube. I've already been warned that my entire channel will be taken down if I get another flag. So you'll have to go to BitChute or Rumble to watch the interview. Otherwise, you can just listen on Freedom Junkie Radio Podcast. And we're talking about all kinds of things about the new earth that is coming about. I can't even say what else we talk about because you're not allowed to talk about it. So maybe I can put a couple of snippets in following this little uh, announcement. That it didn't matter exactly what we were, what they do, what mattered was that they could project an air of power over or control. And, and, you know, it's exactly what they're doing with this whole, you know, thing is it's all, am I allowed to say that? Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. You can say anything you okay. want. Okay. I don't I'm know. already <laughs> realizing, I'm already realizing that I probably won't put this, this interview on YouTube. I'll just skip it, go to BitChute and Rumble. Okay. Because, yeah. Cause we're going to say things that, that YouTube will, um, take down anyway. So okay. because okay. censorship is, it's almost like we're okay with it. Everybody's like, oh yeah, that got censored off of YouTube. Yeah. Facebook won't let you say that. Right. Like, when did that become okay in America? This is that's wild. We're, we're being conditioned to be okay with it. So I'm talking about spiritual enslavement as opposed to physical, mm. you know, third dimensional enslavement. Spiritual enslavement is I, it doesn't matter like what the world around me does. I feel trapped. I feel, you know, stuck in my situation. I can't do anything without permission X, Y, and Z. And that has held that purpose for us. Well, I mean, I would say that the truth emerge movement is, you know, ba basically coming from all the people who are aware of something that's happening that's different than what's available out in, you know, the mainstream news and, and you know, in popular culture. And so the truth movement is just, you know, the inf it's, it's, it's about digging for information and like piecing it together yourself, um, finding out what, you know, what's real, um, asking lots of questions, you know, to me, to me, the truth movement is a question like, what is the truth? What is the truth? What is the truth? And asking that again and again and again until, you know, you finally come to the place where, you know, something makes sense. And for me, the truth movement is full of, it's full of ahas. It's claiming sovereignty and owning the constitution on a soul level does not mean that you have to be, you know, fighting these people on in, in the way that, you know, in the courts that they created or that, and I know that the common law courts are emerging and I know that, you know, all of that's happening. And so, but that, that it's like, you know, that's where the split is, is it's like, you know, sticking with like the constitution is a high vibrational document. You know, that's, that's a definitely a new earth document that was planted. And I don't know if it was planted before it was first created, like it might have further back history. Maybe you know more about that. Um, but energetically that that's the, that's the seed. That was the seed of the new earth. We were part of the first wave of awakening where we were meant to go ahead on the dark path and hold a light so people could see it. So it's not, it, we're not, you know, it, it, it wouldn't make sense if all the other people also were with us holding the light because they need to come towards the light. They need to see, you know, and that, that's the piece that kind of helps me you have compassion for them and like less frustration and, you know, but, you know, don't get me wrong. I mean, I got, I got kicked out of the grocery store and did a little public service announcement on my way out. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, it's, you know, it, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. And I think sometimes that's helpful. Like, you know, I felt like, what am I'm getting kicked out? They're calling the police. Do I go out quietly or should I stop and make a scene? <laughs> I was like, I'm going to stop and make a scene. And, you know, and I, I think I'm upset many people, but there was probably one or two that heard me that were like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> like, what was that? You know, 
we have developed this whole new group of people who've bubbled to the surface who are maskless, fearless, recognizing the, the lies that are going on, open hearted, loving, good people who are trying to create a new community where we're going to grow our own food and we're going to be sovereign. And I'm meeting literally dozens of them a week right now. Awesome. And I wouldn't have met them otherwise. So this whole beautiful disease that's, in, you know, and, and I want to say that metaphorically, that's in going, coming over people right now has created a, a healing movement. Yeah. And I'm wondering if you're finding that in California. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is, uh, you know, it, it's taken a while, I, but the past month or so, um, it's definitely like I went to a ladies tea recently, which was really fun. And everybody there was totally maskless. And, you know, it, 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 I mean, that's the new earth. That's how the new earth is going to emerge is through those gatherings. It, when you up level and you get into your heart and you allow your heart to make your choices as opposed to your head, your heart will take, you know, it, it'll clear out all that and it won't, it, there, there's no heart resonance for matching a, a, a dark agenda. You know, there is not a single heart on earth. If a person can get into their heart, they will not match a dark agenda. The dark agenda will not come to their doorstep. If those of you out there who have watched this, liked it, please share it. Both Ariel and I are on Telegram. She's a uh, new earth rising and i will share that i am a uh, freedom junkie radio and i'm also on other social media as well but please share and get the word out we're really this web of open-hearted people who want to shift this world into a place of of love and freedom is a big web and we need to find each other so mm -hmm. thanks for sharing and thanks for being here and until next time ciao I live better than a king ever did. I live better than a king.